Hello everybody, uh, Poochers back here again with a video about my add-ons. Uh, yeah, this is going to be my video which is going to be like a basic tutorial or um, just video about all the add-ons I use. I'm not going to be going into a, any extent on how I set all my add-ons up specifically because that would make this video really, really long and I have shitty bandwidth as it is and yeah. Uh, there's tons of tons and tons of tutorials on the internets and YouTube and whatnot, so if you just put your mind to it for a few good minutes, uh, you will have no problem figuring out everything out that I figured out. Plus, I don't know how to use these like half of these very well, so uh, yeah. Let's just start off with the basics, I guess. Um, here are my bars. Um, my bars are Bartender 4. Um, really cool add-on. In here, you know, slash bar to open it up. Um, I also use it for my key bindings. Click on key bindings, character specific. Basically, all I have to do, let's say I want to bind a uh, dismiss pet to F2. I just hover my mouse over it and hit F2, and it's now bound to F2. It's really, really simple and really, really effective, and I like it a lot. So, that also, you know, so bar lock. And that doesn't work, I'll just go bar. <laughs> and then uh, go bar, you know, over in your stance bar, you can make it like. Looking gigantic and I hate bar snapping. <laughs> yeah, all that good stuff. Um, it's really easy to, you know, just keep on whatnot. Keep on stuff. So now I guess I will go on to my uh, my user interface, like unit frames. That's what it's called. Um, yeah, let me just call it features. Um, as you can see here, this is called a Pitbull 4.0. Um, this is a unit frames add-on I found recently that is, um, I, I, I've always wanted to try it, but I've actually found a decent, uh, tutorial on it, which is on YouTube, so check that out if you want to learn something, because this took me forever to learn. Um, and I, well, I, I, I set this up a long time ago, and it took me forever, and it, like, broke after a while. But now that I watched that uh, tutorial, it makes it like a whole lot simpler. So, you know, you can go through here, portrait, full body if you want it to be that. I don't really want it because it makes it look stupid. But uh, yeah, cool stuff like that. So now, let's see. What else, what else, what else? Um, let's go to my mini map, why not? Uh, my mini map is called Chinchilla Mini Map. It's like right click here. Um, Actually, I do want to lock that, but uh, it's just all different things to, like really easily customize it. Like I, I like my slightly bigger and I and square. I usually um, leave there not being a border around it, but I don't know. That looked kind of, that looked like just as clean, so I was just like, yeah, why not? So yeah, that's super cool. Um, next, I guess we'll go to this right up here um, on the top part of my screen. You can see add-on called interrupt bar. This is really essential for um, for any sort of PvP and I'm just gonna start traveling to show you guys something else in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so basically it'll um, it'll start a time, like let's say a rogue kicks your priest. Or rogue kicks you because he thinks he can kick you or some stupid shit like that. And the point is, um, the little kick a uh, thumbnail up there will start a cooldown like circle go thing going and then we'll, it basically just shows the cooldowns of like generally most interrupts and it is really really useful and very really awesome um yeah it just tells you when it, like if you don't have to go like super hardcore uh fake casting if you know that kick spell lock and cs are all on cooldown you know um so yeah, it it's really good and cool. So next, this is actually my newest addition to my collection, which I finally found. And wait for it, wait for it. Fonter, <laughs> yeah. It um, let's see, slash Fonter makes like just kind of like different like customizable stuff with your uh, fonts. I've I've always hated the default one from Blizzard, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, this is, like, fucking so happy about this. I just found this, like, ten minutes ago, which is why I decided to, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, let's see, oh, yeah. Now for more, like, PvP-related ones, although Interrupt Bar is quite PvP-related. 
Um, definitely Gladius. Just play right there. This is the unit frame for, or sorry, the arena frame I should say um, that I use in arenas. It's like it shows cooldowns, trinkets when trinkets are used, um, all the things that you can see counting down on the left side of the frame here are all DR trackers to know when your DRs are, you know, screwed. Um, you know, it's that thing that's constantly shouting out in a party chat. While, um, like when someone pops a trinket or when someone hits low health or something. Sorry, I love the fucking pop from that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really useful. Um, I use this a lot for focusing because I set it so that if I right click on the person in the frame I want to um, like focus target, like if I just right click on it, it'll put set the most my focus. So it's really easy and efficient with that. So now we're gonna go to. Um, Karthus is Hunter Timers, that's what it's called. You see I drop a flare, and right here, this little unit frame to the right hand side of my on the right hand side of my screen, sorry. Um, we'll start counting down, um, flare. And if my, let's see, deterrence. There's deterrence, there's the duration of deterrence. Here's the down snake trap, it's, the snake trap is primed. Um, let's see. It also show durations, which is awesome as well. So if I can trap this. It fucking totally dodges that right now. I'm gonna get pissed off. Come on, go! Go! Stop shot. No, it's gonna kill it if I start down. Fuck it! Well, you, you get my point. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Good stuff like that. Um, next I guess is my bar, or sorry, my bag add-on. It's called Bagnon. Um, it's really cool, it just converts everything into one bag, frame, colors it like if you have, because I have a mining bag on right now, so that's like that kind of brownish color. Um, it allows you to go into, let's say I want to go into my druids bags and see if I have any um, like focus target, like if I just right click on it, it'll put, set the most of my focus, so it's really easy and efficient with that. So now we're going to go to... Um, Karthus is this Hunter Timers, that's what it's called. You see where I drop a flare? And right here, this little unit frame to the right hand side of my screen, on the right hand side of my screen, sorry. Um, we'll start counting down, um, flare. And if my, let's, I don't know, deterrence. There's deterrence, there's the duration of deterrence. Here's the down snake trap, it's, the snake trap is primed. Um, let's see. It also shows durations, which is awesome as well. So if I can trap this. It fucking totally dodges that right now. I'm gonna get pissed off. Come on, go! Go! Stop shot. No, it's gonna kill it if I stop shot. Fuck it! Well, you, you get my point. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Good stuff like that. Um, next I guess is my bar, or sorry, my bag add-on. This is called Bagnon. Um really cool, it just converts everything into one bag, frame, colors it like if you have, because I have a mining bag on right now, so that's like that kind of brownish color, um, it allows you to go into, let's say I want to go into my druids bags and see if I have any hypnotic dust, well I can do that, I can just like click over here, up in the up, upper left hand corner of the frame, and I can just like switch between them. Super, it's really useful so you don't have to like re-log between characters to make sure you have mats or stuff or, you know, just stuff like that. Um, probably the last thing I'm going to showcase, which is by far the most important for arenas in my opinion, even more important than Gladius. I'm just going to have some mentally kill things to enjoy that font again. Ooh, 50k, quite nice. But yeah, um, would definitely be... Uh, an add-on called Gladiator LOSSA. Um, that can be kind of a bitch to spell, so I will add the link to that in the description separately from just the regular curse link. All the rest of these are really easy to spell, but I will still put the names of them in um, the description. But, um, this basically, let's, let's, let's just roleplay a little bit here for a second. If you, let's, what am I, if you get charged by warrior, he throws you down, he pops recklessness and then blade storm. It'll just be like this little Asian girl voice in the background of your game. That's like a legit like voice talking, saying like, 
Throwdown, Recklessness, Blade Storm. You know what I mean? It's so if you're playing like Rogue or something, and you hear Recklessness and Blade Storm, you can just be like, oh, okay, focus, dismantle. Now my DPS won't die, and you know we can win this game or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like dispersion. It's just it's so so good for um awareness of your game and everything. Sorry, I by the way, I apologize for all the movement included in my tutorial videos. I'm a bit schizophrenic. No, I'm not schizophrenic. I'm just like twitchy and itchy and I could make a blues song. Let's see what about this. <laughs> Boom. No, I'm dumb double nigger. It's whatever. <laughs> so um yeah, these have been basically all of my macros, you know. Um Right here, actually, sorry, this thing right here is called, um, minimap button frame, just to, like, move all of my add-on buttons off of my minimap. Not the biggest thing, but, you know, it's kind of nice. And, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll have more guides posted soon, as well as some more 3v3, uh, jungle cleave, so that should be tons of fun. Swan dive. Peace out.